Praised be Jesus Christ. Celebrating the feast day of Our Lady of Guadalupe in this church, dedicated to our Lord and his Virgin Mother under her title of Our Lady of Guadalupe, during the 10th anniversary year of its dedication, we continue to give thanks to Almighty God. We thank our Lord for the abundance of his grace poured forth into many souls who under the maternal care and counsel of Our Lady have entered this church to worship him, to seek his forgiveness, and to be united to him through the Eucharistic sacrifice. The beauty of the Shrine Church is a small reflection of the infinite beauty of the great mystery of our eternal salvation, the great mystery of the redemptive incarnation by which the Virgin Mary became the Mother of God. El relato de, del Evangelio de hoy, tan familiar para nosotros y sin embargo, siempre nuevo en la maravillosa verdad que transmite, nos recuerda que la Virgen María, llena de gracia, es esto es privilegiada para participar anticipadamente en la gracia de la vida eterna ganada para nosotros con la venida al mundo de su divino Hijo por su pasión, muerte, resurrección y ascensión, es en efecto la Madre de Dios. El Arcángel Gabriel le expresó su vocación y misión con estas palabras. Concebirás en tu seno y darás a luz un hijo, y le pondrás por nombre Jesús. El Espíritu Santo descenderá sobre ti, sobre ti y el poder del Altísimo te cubrirá con su sombra. Por eso, el que nacerá santo será llamado Hijo de Dios. Verdaderamente, la Santísima Virgen María es, uno, es el instrumento elegido a través del cual Dios Hijo se encarnó en orden a salvarnos de nuestros pecados a salvarnos para la vida eterna. Ella es la mujer vestida de sol, que está encinta y que dio a luz un hijo varón, el que va a regir a todas las naciones con cetro de hierro. As we witness in our time so much confusion and error regarding God and his plan for our eternal salvation, and also open rebellion against the law of God written upon every human heart, Our Lady of Guadalupe bids us to come to her so that she may lead us to her divine Son, the only source of our salvation. The situation is grave, even as it was at the time of her apparition in 1531. But we must never give up hope. We must never turn away from the maternal gaze of the Mother of God, who draws us to her divine Son alive for us in the Church above all, in the sacraments of penance and the Holy Eucharist. The Virgin Mother of God expressed her divine maternity to Saint Juan Diego with concrete images to underline its reality in his life. She said to him, Am I not here 
I who have the honor to be your mother? Are you not in my shadow and under my protection? Am I not the source of your joy? Are you not in the hollow of my mantle, in the crossing of my arms? Her words, as also her apparitions, show us the way in which she, the Blessed Virgin Mary, gloriously assumed into heaven, constantly intercedes for us, especially when we are doubtful or fearful. Fittingly, as we leave this church, we read these very words inscribed at the base of the choir loft. Durante las apariciones, San Juan Diego padeció se severas dudas respecto a si iba a poder hacer todo lo que Dios le estaba pidiendo. El 9 de diciembre, cuando habló con la Madre de Dios después de su primer encuentro con el Obispo, pidió a la Virgen que eligiera otro mensajero, a una persona más importante e influente para llevar adelante sus deseos. Luego, cuando su hijo Juan Bernardino estaba muriendo, la preocupación por su abuelo lo condujo a no acudir a un importante cita que tenía con Nuestra Señora, señora el 11 de diciembre, durante la cual ella le estaba por dar el signo para el obispo Juan de Zumarga. A veces no sucede lo mismo con nosotros. Dudamos de, de poseer las fuerzas para hacer la voluntad de Dios. O el desafío de la tristeza y el sufrimiento en nuestras vidas nos lleva a pensar que no podemos con ambas cosas lidiar con nuestros sufrimientos y permanecer fieles a lo que Dios nos pide, especialmente nuestra oración y culto a Él. A veces también el mal, el mal en el mundo y lamenta, lamentablemente Incluso en la iglesia parece tan grande que desconfiamos de la, de la gracia que sobrepasa todo mal si solamente permane permanecemos fieles. In moments of doubt and fear, our Lady of Guadalupe leads us to the true dwelling of God in our midst, announced through the prophet Zechariah. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. Silence, all mankind, in the presence of the Lord, for he stirs forth from his holy dwelling. God has indeed come to dwell among us always in his holy church, in which his only begotten Son, our Lord, works to draw all men to himself, so that they may live in justice and peace, serving God and their neighbor, and may reach 
their eternal home in heaven. Doubt and fear, if they are not corrected with the truth of the gospel and dispelled through the grace to live that truth courageously, lead us to accept defeat, to accept what is truly sinful, or at least to remain silent before great evil when we should be combating it. Mientras nuestros corazones se llenan de gratitud por celebrar la festividad de Nuestra Señora en esta iglesia en la que la veneramos con todo amor y con ella ofrecemos el culto a Nuestro Señor, recemos a través de su intercesión para que siempre recono reconozcamos a Cristo vivo dentro nuestro mediante la habitación del Espíritu Santo y para que asimismo cooperemos plenamente con su gracia haciendo todo lo que podamos por amor a Dios y a nuestro prójimo. Before the final blessing, we will have the investiture of knights and pages in Our Lady's Knights of the Altar. The boys and young men who serve our Lord during the sacred liturgy in this church. Let us pray, invoking the help of Our Lady and St. Juan Diego, that those who today will become pages, the last step before knighthood, persevere in their preparation to become fully Our Lady's Knights of the Altar and that those who today will become knights grow ever stronger in the excellence of their service at the altar and of their witness to Christ in their daily living. May the holiness of their service here be reflected in everything that they think and say and do. Elevamos ahora nuestros agradecidos a yungue a veces temorosos y dubitativos corazones al glorioso corazón eucarístico de Jesús abierto para recibimos, re recibirnos, entregando nuestros corazones unidos al inmaculado corazón de María al Sagrado Corazón de Jesús, seremos purificados de nuestras dudas y temores y fortificados con los siete dones del Espíritu Santo para dar un testimonio claro y valiente de Cristo en el mundo. En el mundo. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received, have mercy on us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, Mother of America, and star of the new evangelization, pray for us. Saint Joseph, protector of Holy Church, pray. Saint Juan Diego, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.